California was once an oil powerhouse. The state once pumped so much oil that it helped power the entire 20th century. From the world's first offshore wells at Summerland and the camouflaged Thumbs Islands in Long Beach to the vast fields of Kern County, the oil business defined an era of industry here. Fueled by the vast reserves of the Monterey Formation, these rigs were symbols of wealth and progress, but the years have passed and the lifespan of steel and oil fields is finite. Interestingly, these structures didn't become marine deserts. They became de facto marine sanctuaries, hosting dense ecosystems of scallops, rockfish, anemones, and other invertebrates. This is the Eureka rig. This one is actually still operating, still pumping oil. We're gonna dive it and get a survey of the life. Now the debate shifts to decommissioning. What to do with the dozens of aging platforms once they're no longer producing oil? The process involves complex engineering, massive costs, and huge environmental decisions about whether to dismantle the structure entirely or adopt a rigs to reefs policy. The question is no longer if these rigs will stop producing, but what happens next? Join us in the next chapter as we dive deep into the multi-billion dollar decision that can reshape California's coastline forever.